hi welcome back to my channel welcome oh i'm naked welcome to another video <laughs> so today ladies and gents we are doing a what i eat in the day why can't i say that a what i eat in a day there we go um obviously as a student i'm at university although as you can probably tell from this bedroom i'm not actually living at uni i'm living at home because and i've only got like two weeks left of my first year of uni which is crazy what the hell so anyway i thought i would do uh what i eat in a day as a student i've done one of these before you guys seem to like it I don't know, did you, maybe? Anyway, so today we are doing another one. I'm actually filming this halfway through the day because I'm not gonna lie, didn't look quite as um, put together, shall we say, at the beginning when I had breakfast. But anyway, this video is very kindly sponsored by an app called John Paul. And basically, I've had a lot of, you know, emails about fitness apps, calorie tracking apps, and some of you might know my history with that kind of stuff. And I would never, ever, 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 ever promote that kind of stuff on my social media. But when I heard about this app, I was actually really impressed with it. It's not a dieting app. It's not anything like that. It's basically like a health, wellness, fitness kind of app and as a student it's honestly great so obviously i'm not using it to lose weight i'm kind of just using it just so that i can mix my meals up a little bit because i tend to eat the same things every day of my life and also just to get a little bit fitter because i'm not gonna lie i don't do much exercise i usually sit down all day writing essays or filming videos and editing them like i don't really move much so we are going to be using the john paul app today and i'm going to be showing you all the meals that i'm using they're all recipes from the app there's basically different sections on the app so there's like the nutrition section where you can plan out all your meals and snacks for every day which is really helpful to kind of use leftovers like if you want to if you've got leftover chicken just type in chicken and you can choose a chicken dish that you can make the next day and also just to plan out your shopping list i always find it really helpful to actually know what i'm eating roughly every day for a week so that when i go to the shop i don't just buy loads of food and then waste it all because i don't have the money to be doing that and also it's really bad for the environment i think then obviously as i said they have a fitness section uh which is gonna be a tricky section for me but i am gonna do a fitness test later and i'm a bit scared about it but you know ignorance is not bliss at this point i gotta know how unfit i am um and then they also do have a like psychology mind kind of section which i thought was so good but yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys how i use it all the recipes that i'm making today they do have like so many recipes like fake ways like all that kind of jazz but i'm not gonna lie i'm busy and i don't have the money or time to be making like three proper complex meals a day so if you guys are students too then it's not just like full i mean you'll see what i'm making but it's like easy quick cheap meals that we've all got time to make and not order nando's every day but yeah, anyway, if you guys are interested in this app, the link will be in the description. You can get two weeks free trial. So, you know, test it out, see if you like it. And anyway, let's go back to me this morning when I was making breakfast. Good morning. Oh my God. The color difference between my neck and my face is actually horrendous. I'm so sorry, but good morning. Say morning. Right, we're gonna go make breakfast now. I need a coffee. I will see you guys downstairs. I actually can't go over this. This is actually embarrassing. Okay, so I'm not sure how great that, that was, but um, you all know how to make a bacon sandwich. I didn't think I had to walk you through it, but that is what we had this morning. So uh, obviously they have more complicated, interesting breakfasts, but honestly as a student i don't really have the time or the money so we'll save those when my parents are paying for the food but anyway we've got breakfast it obviously an iced coffee i cannot go a single morning without it and then my bacon little sandwich i didn't have any rolls so i just used an english muffin so i'm gonna eat this now i'm gonna try and do a fitness test hello welcome to my kitchen okay so today for lunch we're gonna make a chicken caesar wrap 
I'm obviously going to put the recipe ingredients and the little video that they do on the screen as I'm making it. But yeah, this is only going to take 10 minutes apparently, which is great because I've got an essay to write. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm going to get the ingredients out. Obviously, we need wraps. Very lazy and I have pre-cooked chicken. Bacon. Cucumber. Lettuce. This is the best Caesar dressing in the world. It's from Pizza Express. They also do a house dressing. I like mixing them together on a salad. It's great if you're interested. And then I'm also gonna add some red onion because I'm obsessed with red onion. Right, what do I do? Grill the bacon. Oh, I love that they've said grill because I never fry my bacon. I don't like it. Right, so I'm gonna put one piece of this bacon on my tray. This is what it looks like. And then we're putting it under the grill. Okay, I'll be back with you guys once the bacon is cooked. And then we're gonna be mixing it all together. I'm gonna cut up the cucumber and the chicken and the onion actually. And then I'll be back. Okay, this is what it's looking right like now. So I've got the chicken and the bacon there and then the vegetables cut up here. We are gonna add the Caesar dressing in here. Mix it all up. I think I might mix the onion in with this as well. I just checked the recipe. I'm gonna add some black pepper and then add the onions and then we're gonna start building the wrap. Okay, wrap. Then we get the lettuce. Okay, then we do cucumber for some crunch and then the chicken. I might have used a little bit too much, but I'm really hungry. Okay, now I've got to roll it like they did because I never roll these right. Do you know what? I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're out of lipstick. Mm. I've got over that. All right. 10 out of 10. Um, it did only take me 10 minutes. Hmm. I'm gonna eat this now. And then we're gonna try and write an essay. Okay, kids. Hey. Uh, oh, that fake tan looks nice. Yeah. Do you wanna say hi to the camera? Come on. There we are. My little princess. So I've just been to the shops and bought everything I needed for dinner, which I'm not gonna tell you what it is until we're making it, but I'm making it for my entire family because I'm a very good daughter and sister. And yeah, obviously all the recipes can just be double, tripled, or in my case, uh, by six, because I have, a, <laughs> I have a lot of siblings. So we're gonna make it for everybody and then we'll see what they all think of it. But yeah, I just got back from the shops, but now I do need to write my essay because I've been putting it off for as long as possible and I can't do it anymore because I'm never gonna get it done. So we're gonna write an essay now, kids. Do you wanna know what it's about? Good and moral managers. Oh, but all I wanna do is sit here with this little baby. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's be a uni student. Okay, it's time for dinner and we are gonna be following this prawn and spinach curry recipe and we're making dinner for the whole family. So my mom is very happy. Yay! Very happy indeed. Thank you, Jen. So first we're gonna start by cooking the rice, which is gonna be an issue for me because I am really bad at cooking rice. It never turns out right. So if this is edible, gonna be very impressed. Right, so I'm gonna put the rice on. I'm gonna do loads of cutting and chopping following the recipe video. And then I'll show you when I'm a little bit further along because right now I have nothing to show for myself other than the fact I just made my own curry powder because apparently my mum doesn't own pre-made curry powder. She just owns everything in it. So I have to make it myself. But anyway, I feel accomplished already. Okay, right, let's start chopping. Okay, update. The rice is cooking. I think it's actually pretty much done. I don't really know how to tell. Um, I've got peppers, onions, and garlic and oil in here. And then we're gonna add spinach, prawns, chopped tomatoes, curry powder, all that jazz. Oh, let's see if that's gonna balance. Okay, how do I test this rice? Oh my God, I think I did too much rice. Okay, but we're adding my lovely curry powder to the peppers, onions, garlic i put so much garlic in because i absolutely love it in all cooking ever okay we do this for five minutes then we have to add the prawns chili coriander chopped tomatoes fish stock and then another 10 minutes then spinach is it bad to put boiling hot water in glass i feel like it might be okay right i think it's been five minutes yeah we're gonna do the chopped tomatoes oh my god she sizzled now for the stock. This is what it's looking like right now, by the way. 
if you're interested. You can see I've just piled all of the spinach on top and now we obviously wait for this to like wilt a little bit and then we're done. And then we'll see what my family thinks. F's kiss, ladies and gents. Okay, someone needs to give me their mum mm. can do it. Yum, it's really good. I like it. It's good. It's Thanks. Oh. Oh. Nice. I really like it. It's really good. The prawns aren't like stale like mums are. Oh. Okay, the I'm problem? gonna try it. Mm, it's yum, gems. You look beautiful to me. Oh, yeah. No, you look atrocious. Thanks, mum. So I appreciate the honesty. Mm. Beautiful. It's that time in the lifespan of my tan where I still look pretty tanned here, but my face is white. I've got no makeup on, so I really do apologize because that's rough for everyone involved. It is two days later and I have finished my essay. Oh, and the sun's coming in. Right, this lighting is fading very quickly. The sun is setting, but that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, a massive shout out to John Paul for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you guys want to try this out, you can get two weeks free. Click the link in my description. Oh my God, please, I'm trying to film. I need sunglasses on. <laughs> okay, this is how we're gonna finish the video. Yes, don't forget to click the link in my description or just type Jumple into the app store. It's spelled J-O-N-P-L-E. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using it. I think it's sick that I can literally plan out every single one of my meals and it writes a shopping list for me. Oh, also I did do that fitness test and it, mm, mm, maybe not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but still not great. Anyway, that is the end of the video because this is a state. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye.